I am Dr. Bhagishri Boyer, Assistant Professor from Department of Management Studies. Today, I will discuss about the topic of leadership. So first, we should know that what exactly the meaning of the leadership and why this leadership is most important for the peoples. Leadership is the ability of an individual to set an example and lead from the front. See, he, the person who is a leader, he should take, uh, who, who, he should take the responsibility and he lead the people. He lead the followers. He should influence the followers. So he must lead from the front. Next, leadership is the process of influencing the behavior of others to work enthusiastically for achieving predetermined goals. See, the person who is a leader, if he is energetic, if he is enthusiastic, definitely he influences followers for achieving his goals and objective. Company, each and uh, every organization setting their goals. Why they are setting their goals? Because they want to achieve their objective. And that objective, of, uh, achievement of that objective, this enthusiasm is most important. And if leader is more enthusiastic, definitely he influences the followers and he influences his colleagues, team members for achieving his objective. Next, we will discuss more about the traits of effective leadership. Traits means the qualities, the, uh, the person characteristic of that effective leaders. He first awareness the per the leader must awareness not only about his uh, strength weaknesses but also others strength weaknesses then only he can able to achieve objective or goals of the organization next is a decisiveness decisiveness it is a ability it is the skill for taking the decision quickly decision is most important Whenever the uh, company is there, organization is there, the quick decision is most important. Why? The person, uh, may the accident will occur, may the incident will occur and for that uh, the person must able to take the quick decisions. It's not like the accident or incident, each and everywhere the decisiveness ability is most important and he is a role model and the person, the, uh, this leader must have to take the quick decision. Next is a uh, empathy. Empathy means the person must have the understand the emotions of uh, other team members. Person may be sad, person may be anger. So he, it, uh, the person must have the quality to understand the emotions of the person. Next is the confidence. The, this is the traits of the effective leaders. The person must have the confidence. Why the confidence is more important for the leaders because he is uh, the leader who is taking the responsibility he know uh, the information of uh, he know the uh, pros and cons, uh, cons of that uh, particular project so he must have that confidence to work on that particular project to work on that particular task next is a uh, optimism the leader must be optimistic optimistic means positive attitude the person who if he is a positive, definitely he will influence his followers. Definitely he can, he can create a positive environment to work on the task. Negative environment, person not able to work uh, or work on the task or uh, work on the objective also. So optimism is most important and these traits must have that leaders. Next is a uh, honesty. See, if the person is honest, this is not only for the short term but also for the long term, long term objective. The, this leader should be work honestly, he should work ethically, he uh, doesn't do any malpractices because the company is paying for that. So he must pay the honesty for the achievement of the goals also. Focus, important thing, whatever the goal is there, he must have the strategic approach to achieve that goals. So he, uh, the, the qualities of that leader, he must be focused for the achieving of the goals. He uh, he uh, fo focus on this his objective he focus on his goal and based on that whatever the task is required based on that whatever the skill is required how I, I can collect the members who are the skill members so based on uh, based on that only the person can be more focused for wor working on his objective also next we will learn more about the different style of leadership what are the different style of leadership first is a transformation leadership Transformational leadership, it's all about the innovational. We also call this is Parivartan Kari leadership who motivate his or her team members uh, with a vision for futures. They also inspire followers in taking extra efforts to achieve this group or goals. He want to make a change. He is a leader and he want to make a change. And if you want to achieve this change, the person must have that quality, he must have the innovative, he must be creative and 
based on that the person influences his follower to working on this objective also next is style is bureaucratic st uh, leadership styles this leadership style calls systems of government most of the decision taken by the state official and this leadership style found in a public sector only thing is that whatever the rules and regulations which is implemented by the government that uh, each and every offices have to follow and what about the government officials what about the uh, public sector offices they they are, they are not following the autocratic they are not following the transformation most of the people they are following the uh, bureaucratic leadership style which is uh, rules and regulation implemented by the government and that the decisions that uh, rules and regulation they have to follow in this leadership styles uh, it discourage the creativity the person who is uh, uh, more creative he is uh, not able to work in this particular environment because whatever the rules and regulation is there we have to follow the same rule and regulation which is implemented by the government and if the person have more innovative creative ideas he is uh, not able to put that innovative and creative ideas to the concerned person uh, thing is that maybe he is able to put the person but he has to follow the formalities and somewhere people are no, uh, not ready to go for that formalities because it is more time consuming also next charismatic leadership styles this charismatic leadership style it, um, he have the forceful opinions and he uh, but they are the sensitive to the emotions ambitions and personal experience that others have the, this charismatic leadership the person have the divine gifted he have the communication skills he have the influencing skill he may he not qualified person may he not experienced person but based on the skills he is influencing his followers for example like political leaders the regional uh, uh, the person who is a political leader he he have so many followers he have the so many voters also so he is a charismatic leadership is uh, having that charismatic leadership next is a transactional leadership this transaction approach uh, like leadership focus on producing result about anything else and motivate people to achieve them by offering clear rewards and consequences this in this leadership style the leader following which approach like uh, carrot and stick approach here if you are doing good definitely i will give you rewards and if you are not doing anything i will remove you from your company or i will give uh, i will uh, give you some uh, uh, i will uh, give you some the penalties also means here you are responsible for that penalties because you are not working as per the system so this is the practical approach that he is deriving which call as a transactional leadership style next is a autocratic leadership style in this autocratic leadership is well known as a leader center or auto authoritarian styles he is a leader he having the centralized approach means the followers influence are there they have to follow the uh, the follow the same uh, decision which is implemented by these leaders the, uh, if the followers is not following that, uh, that uh, leadership approach if the following is not following that decision definitely they will uh, and this leaders is not give more importance to the followers also so here here the leaders is uh, he is formulating the decisions and that decision must follow by the all the followers all the team members next is a democratic style of leadership democratic is a participatory leadership is the leadership style where leaders listen to their employees and involve them in a decision making process it is the participative means the person he have some uh, many suggestions the each and employees having many uh, feedbacks opinions what he uh, this leader is doing he is a uh, asking whenever he is he has formulated any decision he is taking the suggestion from his employees he is taking the suggestion from his followers and then he is implementing them uh, implementing that suggestion which is uh, more important uh, for the company also most uh, companies following this democratic most companies following this participatory leadership style because uh, whenever they want to take the decisions they uh, will ask their followers and they know that agar hum log ye decision if we uh, if we uh, taken the approach from the employees if we taken the approach from the followers uh, they will not resist that decision whenever the implementing situation will come so this is the most important leadership style which is following by the many companies next is a lazy sphere leadership side lazy sphere leadership have an attitude on trust 
and reliance on their employees they having the more trust on that employees this employees are more qualified these employees are more mature these employees are more uh, more knowledgeable person like researchers they are uh, they are the uh, they are the this uh, uh, they are following in this uh, styles because whenever the autocratic style is there whenever the uh, democratic style is there when the researcher person will come when the scientist person people will come they don't like uh, that person should uh, uh, person should uh, emphasize them person should pressurize them they want the environment because they were they are more productive and uh, they want to be a uh, they want to uh, uh, make more innovative things so here in this leadership style uh, in this leadership style the leaders is uh, not uh, giving um, not uh, centralizing any decisions just people they have to they uh, they have to follow their own policy they have to follow their own rules and regulation and they have to work on their project next 